Notre Dame had a big visitor on campus Monday. That's March 22nd. Four-star linebacker Jalen Sneed, the top 100 player out of South Carolina. Mike, you saw Sneed in action over the weekend at a camp. We talked to Sneed after his visit. Let's get into that. But first, want to make sure you guys are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Just takes that one click on the subscribe button. And please be sure to like this video. Helps our content get out there more. And you can hit that notification button, that little bell, to get notified every time we drop a new video. We appreciate you guys watching as always. So, Mike, you talked to Sneed after his visit. What were your takeaways as far as what his impression was? Yeah, I think he really liked campus. Um, the, the size of campus. Um, it was a great um, day in South Bend as well, Patrick. Um, so just, yeah, o o overall, everything went well, you know, as well as one of these self-guided tours can go. Um, they're very limited in that they can't see the coaching staff. You know, they can't get the full academic tour, sit down with Coach Kelly, sit down with this professor and get this presentation, watch a game. You know, all of those things aren't happening. So it's really just walking around campus. Is that the best these players um, can do right now, but um, Snead is uh, a little bit more on the shy end. Like he's not one of these like big bubbly personalities. When you ask him a question, he's going to give you four minute answer. Um, so a little little tougher to read um, in that sense. But by all accounts, um, I I'm liking where where Notre Dame stands with uh, Jalen Snead coming off of this visit. So I know you just put in a future cast for Jalen Snead. Where do you project him to land? Yeah, uh, certainly Notre Dame, um, and you can find the article um, that uh, I posted at blueandgold.com as well as the gold standard, all of uh, you know my, my nuggets from the, the weekend that was. Um, yeah, I, I like where Notre Dame's at right now. I think the Irish's biggest competition to this point is Oregon. Um, you know, he was at Tennessee on Saturday, so um, the timeline for his weekend was Tennessee Saturday, um, then Sunday, he was at the Atlanta Under Armour camp where I was able to see him. Um, and then uh, drove to the airport, flew up to Indianapolis, drove to Notre Dame um, on Sunday night, stayed in South Bend, and, and then was uh, touring campus um, with his head coach, BJ Payne at Hilton Head uh, on Monday morning and Monday afternoon, and then went back home. Um, so he doesn't have a... Um, like a super set in stone, like um, decision date or anything like that. But he's pretty um, stern on, uh, you know, I want to wait until um, the summer to make a decision. I want to take official visits. Um, you know, he probably wants his mom to come on a visit and, and all that good stuff. So w when it, he decides, you know, I don't know. Um, but if Oregon is Notre Dame's biggest competition or Texas or Texas A&M, like I, I think he wants to get far away from home. Um, but I, I don't know why someone would want to get away from Hilton Head, South Carolina. That's just me. Uh, but I, I, I think Notre Dame offers what he is looking for. Just, just my opinion. Um, so I, I do like Notre Dame here. Um, it, could, could Notre Dame like push up that timeline? Like it may be, you know, the visit went that well, you know, we'll have to see. Um, so whether it's next week or June or July, I, I still think that uh, Notre Dame is in the driver's seat there. So, Mike, you saw Sneed and some others at the Atlanta Under Armour camp on Sunday. What were your impressions of Sneed and as well as some other guys were you able to see? So these camps are set up to where the offensive defensive lines are in a group. And then they're done with their combine stuff and then one-on-ones. And then after they're done, you go and interview them. Well, as you're interviewing them, the running backs and linebackers are doing all their one-on-ones and combine and stuff. So I actually didn't get to see Sneed's reps and one-on-ones. So I don't know how we actually did. But um, seeing Jalen Sneed um, in person, he, he was – um, lengthier, taller than I thought, um, and, and looks like a really nice athlete. I did get to see him in the broad jump. Um, he, he can not jump um, out of a gym. Pictured on the screen here is uh, Lebius Overton. Um, Rivals is not ranked the 2023 class just yet, um, but when it does, um, I expect Overton to be uh, a five-star caliber, caliber player. 6'4", 240 pounds. I think he's probably closer to maybe 260. Honestly, he's a big dude. Um, Notre Dame offered over 10 on Wednesday as part of its pot, pot of gold day. Um, it's going to be hard for me to see 
Overton not going to like an Alabama or a Georgia. But Overton has some ties to South Bend. Um, his mom grew up in Chicago. He's got family is located um, in South Bend. His teammate Jack Nichols, a tight end commit for Notre Dame. So, you know, while I think it's a long shot, no, maybe no, Notre Dame can uh, get into the mix with Overton here. And as far as him as a player, he is just a freak. I mean, he dominated the one-on-ones. Uh, really impressive. Just um, gets off the ball with uh, with quickness. Um, and just, uh, he's just fierce, uh, looks really good on tape. Um, and when you see him in person, next guy, I wanted to touch on Ricky Collins, a class of 2023 quarterback, Notre Dame offered Dante Moore and Arch Manning, uh, last week. Collins does not have an offer from Notre Dame yet, but he's in contact with the staff. What I saw from him, just throwing the ball around a little bit and one-on-ones, Nice, nice quarterbacks. Solid size, listed at 6'4, 180 pounds. I think he's probably 6'3. Um, I'm 6'3. I didn't think he was that much taller than me, but still, a uh, nice size quarterback, smooth release, decent arm strength for being a sophomore in high school. Overall, I think Ricky Collins is a definitely a guy to keep on, keep an eye on for Notre Dame. Uh, moving along in the class of 2022, Ryland Gandy from Buford High School uh, in North Atlanta. I thought he was really impressive. He was uh, lengthier and taller uh, than I expected him to be, and he's clearly a track guy because he has an incredible burst, runs really well. I think Ryland Gandy, a Notre Dame could do worse than him. Um, if they get him as a cornerback, like he is, is a nice looking player. Um, not sure where he stands on the Notre Dame board exactly, but Ryland Gandy impressed me running around and in one-on-ones as well. A couple of 2023 defensive backs I wanted to touch on. Michael Daughtery, uh, Grayson, Georgia, really nice player. I thought he was impressive. Uh, AJ Harris, um, Phoenix City, Alabama, Glenwood, uh, another really nice player. I mean, these are a couple of defensive backs that uh, Notre Dame offered just just recently in the past month or so. Harris, I think Notre Dame's got actually a really decent chance to land him. I mean, he's a national prospect already, but uh, his family really loves Notre Dame. Harris is feeling the love for Notre Dame as well. All these guys were uh, involved in that pot of gold recruiting day, so I, I don't know if Notre Dame's going to land some of these guys, but um, in the mix, early in the recruitments, A.J. Harris, Michael Daughtery, um, even Lebius Overton, they're in the mix early. Um, they just got to stay on them, keep recruiting them hard. I mean, these are you know national championship level players. Big takeaway from the weekend in, in Notre Dame recruiting, Jalen Sneed, certainly a player to watch here as his recruitment starts to get into its later stages.